Hi guys! So as you can see, I am in a new environment, a different backdrop. I'm actually in my guest bedroom at my new house in Arizona. If you haven't seen or heard or followed me on any of my social media, if you're just out of the loop, I have moved to Arizona from Washington and we bought a house here. So we are living in our new home. If you are interested in seeing more about my new house or more about my husband and I's life, we actually have a vlogging channel and so I will leave that link down below so you can go see we have a house tour out you know and we just do videos about our lives together this video today is going to be comparing nurse practitioners to physicians assistants I get a lot of questions asking should I go NP should I go PA and you know like I say for any job any career if you're debating on if you want to be a teacher if you want to be a vet if you want to be a nurse write down the pros and cons of each career think about you know salary the cost to go to school the time commitment your social life involvement your the emotional and physical barriers and stresses think about all those to decide but i'm going to give you guys some more general information on comparing pas and nps to give you guys some more uh information so to start off with my personal opinion now this is my personal opinion you guys may have different opinions that's okay if you are already an RN it doesn't really make sense to go the PA route it makes more sense to go the NP route because in order to be a nurse practitioner you have to have an RN license and then you have to go back to school to get your masters or there actually are some doctorate programs now even though it's not technically required yet to have your doctorate to be a nurse practitioner you have to go back to school but you have to have your RN license if you want to go the PA route basically I don't want to say anyone can go the PA route because not everyone can be a PA but you have to have your bachelor's degree and then you go into a master's program to become a PA you hear jingling behind the camera if it's moving that's because my cat is right behind the camera do not knock that camera down <laughs> okay so anyways they both require both routes require that you have a master's degree or the NP you can have a doctorate degree but to get, be an NP you have to have your RN so the schooling's about the same the pay grade is about the same I actually looked it up and the average is about 94 to 95 thousand a year for nurse practitioners and PA so it's about it's about the same really that's you know no huge difference or anything I think the biggest difference for NPs and PAs is that NPs can work independently. I'm not sure if this is a state to state rule or if this is a national rule for the United States, but NPs can own their own practices. I know in Arizona there's a lot of NPs that own their own clinics, like they work at Walgreens and they, you know, run that clinic or they um, work at a women's health clinic. There's no like they don't respond to a physician above them because they are running that clinic. In the hospital setting, typically NPs work alongside with physicians and the physicians kind of, they have that, you know, one step above NP. So, you know, it's kind of reassuring because if you're an NP, you're like in charge of writing orders. But if you're in the hospital, it's like, I still have one more person above me <laughs> to go to for help. You know, you're not the only one. PAs cannot work independently. You cannot own your own clinic. You have to work under a physician, whether that is at a clinic or in the hospital. So those are the main comparisons between NP and PA. Again, if you are deciding between the two, write out all of the pros and cons and whatever you choose, I'm sure it'll be wonderful. But give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.